Hi everyone, this is Rachel from rwcrafts.com and today I'll be showing you step by step how I created this art journal page using almost exclusively Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft products. So you can see here my art journal has already been gessoed and then I wanted a lot of texture, especially along the bottom, so I made the gesso very, very, very thick I, and then kind of lifted it up with my palette knife and then I let it dry and I have texture already on my page before I do anything else. So you can see now I'm going through and just scribbling some of my double scoop gelatos. I'm using the colors uh, guava, I believe is the light pink. And then I have bubble gum is the darker pink and lemon is the yellow. And I heavily sprayed it with my water mister. So once I give it a good spray of water, I can go through with my fingers and just blend it all together. That's what I love about gelatos is how they react with water. And you can see how easily, I barely even have to try, <laughs> they just go and they mix into each other. I almost put down an orange gelato, but then remembered that once I mix kind of the pink and that yellow, it's going to give me that orange effect anyways. So I didn't have to use that. Now I'm just adding a few more pinks to the top, blending it all together. And I did end up going through with white as well. Where you see the white space, I went in with a white gelato. Now I love doing this. I just did a quick wipe over with a wet baby wipe. And it kind of pulls all the color down into each other. I really like that effect. And it's something that's so simple. But it gives you such a big impact. So once everything was dry, I went through with this stencil from the Crafters Workshop. And my design memory craft whip spackle this is their modeling paste I really love whip spackle because it dries so quickly and it's so fluffy <laughs> that it really gives you the dimension that you want on your stencil so I'm going to only use this arrow stencil here and I'm going to put that in a few different places all throughout my art journal page I'll speed it up. Look how quickly I can stencil. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm putting the stencil also where I want the flow of my art journal page to go. So I really do want it to go along the bottom and then up that one edge there where I put the stencil going vertically. So that is how the I want the flow of my art journal page. So that's where I put the stencils. So now I wanted to color the stencils black, but I really wasn't sure what the best method or product would be to do that. So right now I'm going over it with my Design Memory Craft Pit Stamper's Big Brush Pen in black. And I kind of liked it, but not really. And just doing the gelato with my finger, that was a no-go. I wasn't a fan of that. <laughs> so now I'm going through. I did the gelato. I ran the black gelato on my craft mat. Yeah, I like that one. I <laughs> ran it over on my craft mat, spritzed it with water, and then just dipping my finger in to get the look that I want. Because I want it messy, but not too messy. I don't want it too clean. So this was the winner. And once I go over it this way, uh, on a couple of spots, I'm also going to go back, there you see, with the black gelato and go right on top and then rub it with my damp finger again, just in the spots where I want it a little darker. And that was definitely the look I was trying to go for. So now I want to add just some very, very thin black stripes. I want more black on the page. I don't want it to be so centrally located on those stencils. So I'm trying to, again, figure out the best way to get my black stripes. And just doing the gelato on my palette knife didn't quite work. So now you can see I did ram the gelato across my palette knife and then just dip my palette knife into that spritz of water. And I love this look. I was so happy with how this turned out. And I'm telling you guys, this all this art journal, I'm experimenting with you. I didn't have these techniques planned out. I wasn't sure how I was going to do that. And I am just so happy with how that looks. I really, really love those thin, thin lines. And it blended so well once I just put the palette knife in a dip of water. 
So now I'm highlighting these lines with my Stamper's Big Brush Pen in white. So I'm just going along each edge to kind of just brighten it up a little bit. And I do like to go through my art journal pages and just add a little bit of washi. So I grabbed some washi tapes that I thought would match. I'm only going to end up using two of them. And I do like to like rip my washi tapes down the middle so they don't look quite like such a clean rectangle. So you can see, even when I get just a tiny little piece that tore off, I'm still going to use that. And I'm mostly going to put the washi tape around where my stencil was. Again, because that's where I want the flow of my art journal page to be. So I finished putting down my black, and now I'm going to put down this, uh, it's like a pink with gold polka dots. This one doesn't rip so easily down the middle, so I'll just use smaller pieces so it doesn't look so clean. And you can put them vertically, diagonally, however you want. Now I set my art journal aside and I'm ready to get going on my main image. This is a stamp by Unity Stamp Company. It's a large, gorgeous flower stamp. I'll have the uh, item posted below. And I'm coloring over it with my Stamper Big Brush Pen in black. This is essentially like a permanent ink pad when you use this marker because the pit pens and the Stamper Big Bash pens are all India ink. So once it dries, it is permanent. So it's just as good as using like a permanent black ink pad. And I'm giving that a good press on watercolor paper since I know I will be getting it wet. And once the uh, Stamper's Big Brush Pen dried, I'm gonna start going over it with some gelatos. Now I wanted the gelatos to be different color family from the rest of my art journal page. That's why I'm going with these cool colors. And I just put some down on my craft mat and you can see I sprayed them with water. And now I'm just gonna rub them around wherever <laughs> on this flower image. So the light blue there is, that was my double scoop gelato in snow cone. And then the darker blue is double scoop gelato metallic mint. And the purplish color is the Double Scoop Gelato in Raspberry. And I'm just kind of spraying down the whole thing to get the colors flowing a little more. And then just tweak it how you want it. If you want it darker, add more. If you want it lighter, then you can add more water and you can almost take the pigment out uh, with the water and just rub your finger over it. So I'm going to let that dry. And once it's dry, I am going to fussy cut it with my scissors because I do want this to go right in my art journal page. And you'll see once I put it in my art journal page, I, I end up fussing with it a little more and adding some more color because I want it to be a little darker than what I have there. So I'm outlining the edge to make it stand out just a little more. I am going over the edges with my black gelato and then just rubbing it with my finger so it blends in. And one of my favorite, actually, happy accidents on this art journal page happened while I was doing this. So as I'm doing that, little bits of the gelato are crumbling off onto my page. And I saw those bits there and just ran over it with my finger in a wavy motion. That one's my favorite. <laughs> I love that. It was such a happy accident. And now I'm going to try and recreate it on purpose, and I'm sure it will never look that good. <laughs> but that was just from the little bits that came off of the gelato as I was going across the edge of the stamp. And now I'm putting down some foam tape to just pop it up a little bit. And to make sure it adheres, I'm using Design Memory Craft Gel Medium. I'm putting that over the foam tape because even if the foam tape sticks originally, I'm sure it wouldn't last just with the foam tape, but the gel medium will really make sure it sticks in my art journal. Decide where I want it. Mm, yeah, I wanted it where I originally wanted it. Go figure. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a good press. And to make sure it's really pressing into all the bumps and grooves of my art journal, I just put a heavy acrylic block on top of it. So now I'm going through and I'm just adding some extra little details. So this is some just little circles and I'm coloring over it. I think that's the snow cone gelato color. And I just did little dots and now I'm blending it out with my finger so they're a little softer. 
And then I put a little highlight of the white gelato and I'll go back through and blend the highlight with my finger. And that also kind of softens them up a little bit. They don't look so harsh. And when I did that, I realized I needed some of that bright blue color to be brought into my flower. So you can see I kind of just went around the petals, the petal lines of the flower with that same color. And now I'm blending that with my pinky. <laughs> and then also added some more of the raspberry color there. And now again, for more highlights, I am wrapping around them with my white Stamper's Big Brush Pen. And you can also blend the Stamper's Big Brush Pens with your fingers, especially if it's on a non-porous surface. So that's what I'm doing here. And finally, I am adding a quote. I'm using my silver pit pen, which is also permanent once dried. I'm doing a simple quote that I'm sure you've heard before. It just says, bloom where you are planted. In my own not fancy handwriting, that's okay. Embrace the handwriting. <laughs> and then I'll sign it on the bottom. And that's done. So here is my art journal page. I did as much as I could using Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft products. I love these products and I loved experimenting with you while the camera was on. Thank you so much for joining me. All of the products I used will be listed in the description below. Thanks again for joining me. You can find more at rwcrafts.com. Bye.